pledge allegiance to, to the, the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Please be seated. Letting it tie down. Welcome to the Pompano Beach High School's 2023 International Showcase. I'm your co-MC, Ryan Gans. And I'm Kirtan Amadou. This will be the second half of our sixth International Summit Showcase. And we will be showcasing the talents of our 16 of our 19 live and virtual countries from around the world. Across the rather large pond, we can encounter the London Borough of Barnet, which is the home of Christ's College Finchley and our United Kingdom neighbors. The iconic Big Ben is the name for the bell and the clock at Westminster, symbolizing Parliament. Let your applause ring out for the United Kingdom. Toward my hand, come. I can clutch thee. I, I have thee not, and yet I see thee still. Art thou not, fatal vision, sensible to feeling as to sight, or art thou but a dagger of the mind? A false creation proceeding from the heat oppressed brain. Silence, thou Britain! Home is where I can study and practice. Home again, home again. One day I know I feel home. Home again. is where my dad's cooking is. 
born again, born again. One day I know I feel strong again. Lift my head. Many times I've been juggle. told All this talk will make me feel So I close my eyes Look behind me Moving on Moving on So I close my eyes Look behind me One day I know I pass for four For me, home is where my loved ones are. One day I hope to make you smile again. I will find. Home is where I can sing. Today we are performing a song from our recent musical, Matilda, and it is called Naughty. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. So they say, such a good fool was inevitable. They never stood a chance, they were written that way. I wonder why they didn't just change their story. We're told we have to do, we are told, but surely. Sometimes you have to be a little bit naughty. Just because you find that life's not fair, it doesn't mean that you just have to grin and bear it. If you always take it on the chin and wear it, nothing will change. Even if you're little, you can do a lot. You mustn't let little things like little stop you. If you sit around, let them get on top of you. Might as well be saying you think that it's okay, and that's not right. And if it's not right, you have to put it right But nobody else is gonna put it right for me Nobody but me is gonna change my story Sometimes you have to be a little bit naughty And now for a proper British send-off
Thank you for that wonderful musical performance. Now it is time for Virtual Journey to Peru and Ica, located south of Lima. This is the home of Colegio Privado Jose Carlos Maria Tegui. Peru has 28 of the world's 32 climates. Let's give our guests a warm welcome. ciudad de Ica, ubicada en la costa peruana. Ica, conocida como la ciudad del eterno sol. Presente, el Colegio María Tegui, del Perú, para el mundo. Nuestra educación preuniversitaria, científica, humanista, deportiva y tecnológica ha hecho que nuestros estudiantes ingresen a las mejores universidades del Perú.
Wasn't that a wonderful performance by Peru? If you travel to Krakow, you find yourself in Poland, near the border of Czechia on both sides of the Vistula River. This is the home of the Privatna Akademikia Legium Ogólnokształca. If you want to keep up on the latest tunes, Poland has the world's largest music festival. Play on Poland. So we students from Poland and we wanted to present to you, and we will, uh, our country in the light of our daily lives and the uh, events in December when we recorded uh, our video for the performance that influenced and impacted our lives. Um, and we hope you'll enjoy our performance. Wszyscy mamy źle w głowach, że żyjemy. Hej, hej, la, 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 hej, 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 hej. Wszyscy mamy źle w głowach, że żyjemy. Hej, hej, la, 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 hej, hej, hej. Ciesz się bracie szwole, że, że masz protekcję w belwederze. Lancy do boju, szamle w dłoń, bądźcie lika, kłon, kłon, kłon. Lancy do boju, szamle w dłoń, bądźcie lika, kłon, kłon, kłon. W belwederze, na kwaterze, pośpisz bracie szwole, że, że. Lancy do boju. Tylko jedno w głowie mam, koksu pięć gram, odleciec sam, z krainy zapomnienia. Komentowaliśmy sytuację tych królów kardamonu, plantatorów wielkich. Perception, memory, thinking, decision making, endeavor, reflectiveness, productiveness, creativity, planning. But <coughs> <coughs> When talking about our Slavic ancestors, it's important to uh, remember that many traditions and problems, they come from pagan origins. 
Uh, for example, Christmas. Christmas comes in a few years' time. Yeah, and before Christianity in Poland, uh, Christmas uh, was known as Sztobregowy. And Sztobregowy was very similar, but different. I mean, people sang carols and gave each other presents. But, uh, in fact, this celebration was the celebration of nature. Uh, not a and the sources. Oh, the weather outside is frightful, but the fire is so delightful. Since we've no place to go, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. It doesn't show signs of stopping, and I brought some corn for popping. Lights are turned down low. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. It is day two of a war that until just yesterday was for many unimaginable and the scenes that the hours since, since the Russian invasion of Ukraine began have left us bring to mind times that Europe hoped to have long left behind. <laughs> Ukraine's capital under attack again. Emergency workers battling flames caused by airstrikes on the central city of Dnipro. A university folding in flames in a war that's against all logic and reason. This is Lviv train station western Ukraine. Chaotic and fraught. They are trying to get here to Poland. It's just two weeks since Poland became a beacon of sanctuary for Ukrainian refugees. More than 100,000 arrive every day in Poland to open doors and hearts. Donations are flooding in, volunteers offering help. Poland has become a vital lifeline in and out of Ukraine, welcoming those fleeing and sending ammunition and supplies back to those who are remaining. Finally tonight, through the darkness of this war and human suffering, we have also seen the kindness of others. From the moment we got to Poland, we've seen people not just opening their hearts to Ukrainian refugees, but their homes. These two families were complete strangers until two weeks ago. They don't even speak the same language. Thank you for showing us a day in your life. Next, we will have 
Apollonia Kaczynska from Montessori Primary School in Krakow, Poland. She's wearing a traditional costume from Krakow made by her grandmother, and she'll be playing a classic we all know, It's a Small World, on the piano. Let's welcome her to the stage. Thank you, Apollonia. Across the Mediterranean Sea, we now go to Bangalore, India's Silicon Valley, where the Vidya Niketan Public School is located. Today, we will see a traditional South Indian dance, Bharatanatyam, where they dance in praise of Nataraja, the god of dance. Nadi to the power, 
பங்கில் உறைபவர் நாடி புதிப்பவர் பங்கில் உறைபவர் நாடி புதிப்பவர் பங்கில் உறைபவர் நம்பர் திருச்செம்பொன் நம்பலவானர் நம்பர் திருச்செம்பொன் நம்பலவானர் நம்பர் திருச்செம்பொன் நம்பலவானர் வேடிக்கை காண கண் ஆயிரம் வேண்டாமோ ஆடி கொண்டார் அந்த வேடிக்கை காண கண் ஆயிரம் வேண்டாமோ wonderful dance performance Now from the southeast of Lucerne is Altdorf the capital of Uri Canton in central Switzerland There you will find a Burstufe Bernarda in Altdorf Did you know Switzerland is the largest consumer of chocolate and produces over 180,000 tons yes tons of chocolate Let's give tons of applause to Switzerland and gentlemen we are very grateful and appreciative to be part of the international summit 2023 today we will talk about a very important point in switzerland's history we will present you the story of tell and tradition because these are the main reasons why switzerland became switzerland enjoy 
Wilhelm Tell is certainly a familiar story. The story of the crossbowman from Uri, who murders the tyrant Gestalt, is known far beyond the borders of the cantons and the country. But what is the story about? Did Tell really live, or is it all just a legend? The inhabitants of the valley of Uri, Schwyz, and Unterwalden, today Obwalden and Nidwalden, were in the possession of King Albrecht. The imperial bailiffs, Landenberg and Gessler, sent by him, tyrannized the people in the most terrible way. But the inhabitants of Uri, Schwyz, and Unterwalden did not just stand idly by. Three men, Walter, Prince of Uri, Werner Stauffacher from Schwyz, and Arnold Melchthal from Unterwalden, and ten friends of each gathered on the Rütli and swore to regain freedom for their fatherland. This was born in 1291, the confederation of the original cantons. We want to be united people of brothers. In no trouble separate us in danger. We will be free as the fathers were, rather dead than live in slavery. We will trust in the highest God and not fear the power of man. Gessel was not unaware of the general grumbling. In order to see the germ of this pressure spring up somewhere, he had a pole erected on the village square in Altdorf, on top of which a head was pinned. Everyone was supposed to pay the same homage to this head as Gessel himself and bow down to the head. This was how he wanted to underline his claim to power. Wilhelm Tell, a conservative fellow countryman from Birklen, who came with his son, refused to do so. Gessler. <laughs> Gessler then ordered him to shoot an apple from the head of his son Walter with an arrow from his crossbow or die. Tell passed the test and shot the apple of Walter Lee's head without hurting him. However, Gessler noticed a second arrow in Tell's quiver, and when asked what it meant, Tell replied, with this arrow, I would pierce you if I had hit my dear child. Afterwards, Gessler has him bound and taken to his ship. On the lake, Kaltierwaldstättersee, however, a terrible storm breaks out. The oarsmen ask Gessler for Tell's help who guides the ship safely. Near the shore, Tell suddenly jumps out of the ship onto a protruding rocky plateau, where today Tell's chapel is located in Sisikon and escapes over the Ochsenberg and along the Dicke to Kisnacht, where he lies and waits for his enemy, Herr Gessler, in the Hohlengasse. At this point, Tell shoots the bailiff Gessler with an arrow from his crossbow. So this was the story of Wilhelm Zell, Zerudli Schwur, and how Switzerland was born. Switzerland is certainly not only known for the Tell story, Many people know the good Swiss chocolate. One of the most famous is the Toblerone, in the shape of the Matterhorn. As well as Switzerland being known for its beautiful mountains, for example, the Matterhorn, which has a beautiful shape. The water fountain Schetto in Geneva is up to 140 meters high. The federal building in Bern is the heart of the Swiss government. We hope you enjoyed our show. Thanks for listening, and we wish you a nice day. Thank you for that engaging presentation, Switzerland. The Open Future International High School in Krakow, Poland is the home to our two guests from Ukraine. Often called the breadbasket of Ukraine, of Europe, Ukraine is a major producer of wheat and is known for having one of the most melodic languages in the world. 
Let's now listen to their poetic words that tell a compelling story. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We are the representatives of Ukraine. Originally, we were coming from Ukraine, but currently we are living in Poland. We are the representatives of the Open Future International High School in Krakow City. For our cultural showcase, we would like to present the poem, which was written by one of the most famous Ukrainian writers, Taras Shevchenko. I'll be presenting this poem on the Ukrainian language, and my colleague will translate it into English. And on the background, you'll be able to see the landscapes of Ukraine. Hope you will enjoy. Тарас Шевченко, заповіт. Як умру, то поховайте, мене на могиль. Серед степу широкого на вкраїні миль, що блани широкополі, і Дніпро, і кручі, було видно, було чути, як реве ревучі. Як понесе з України у сині і море, крок ворожа, ото й дія, і лани, і гори, все поклиною полину до самого Бога. Молитись, а до того я не знаю Бога. Поховайте та вставайте. Кайда не порвіте, і вражу злою кров'ю волю окропіти. І мене, сім'ї великі, сім'ї вольні, нові, не забудьте пом'янути не злим тихим словом. English version, my testament. When I'm dead, bury me in my beloved Ukraine. My tomb upon a grave man hide, admit the spirit in plain. So that the fields, the boundless steps, the Dnipro's plugging shores. My eye could see, my ears could hear, the mighty river roar. And from Ukraine, the Dnipro bears into the deep blue sea, the blood of force, then I will leave. This hills, the fertile fields, I'll leave them all and fly away to the above of God. And then I'll pray. But till the day, I nothing know of God. Bury me, then rise ye up, and break your heavy chains, and water with the turns blood, the freedom you have gained, and in the great new family, the family of the free, with softly spoken kindly word, remember also me. Thank you. Thank you for that beautiful poem. Today, we are having the Nankai Secondary School from Chongqing, China, with a city population of over 30 million people. With a history stretching 3,000 years, Chongqing has been an important political, economic, and strategic center in China's West. It is known as Mountain City due to its rugged terrain and steep gorges. Let's enjoy this video from our friends in China. <laughs> Here's Ashley and Lee Chi, and I'm Ashley. Today you are going to have a tea art performance for you guys, and 
Now let's begin. As the hometown of tea, China is the forefront of the world in terms of cultivation, production, and drinking. The tea I make is ripe through earth, which is mild and has healthcare functions such as nourishing the stomach, lowering blood lipids, and losing weight. Hi, I'm Lichi, and now I'm making the unripe pure tea. The unripe pure tea has the function of clearing away the heat fire and reduce internal heat. But if you drink too much, you may feel dizziness. That was intoxicated not by alcohol, but by tea, by Chinese tea. Thank you, China, for that peaceful and beautiful video. Next, join us as we journey down to the south of Africa to meet our friends from the George Emanuel College in Zimbabwe. Interestingly, Zimbabwe is the country with the most official languages in the world. Please put your hands together for Zimbabwe. And we are here representing Zimbabwe. International Summit. So I'm going to teach you some stuff that we do in Zimbabwe when we are greeting after a long time we say Maka Ini. Maka Ini. And when we want to say um, good afternoon we say Maswera Say. Um, Shona is our mother language. And we have many, many languages that include uh, Tonga and O. So when we're not going, we say Tare Kuenda. It's Tare Kuenda. So bye, guys. Bye. bye. God made everything, and behold. It was good. And he said, Let us make men out of our own image. God created Adam, the father of Asia, Australia, America, 
Europe and also Africa. And behold, it was good. Holy Spirit, help a breaker now. Better choose the right voice to believe. Holy Spirit, help a breaker now. Better choose the right voice to believe. Holy Spirit, help a breaker now. Better choose the right voice to believe. Holy Spirit, help a breaker now. Choose the right voice to believe. Holy Spirit, help a breaker now. Better choose the right voice to believe. Some races are saying, Africa shall remain a very dark continent. Some races are saying, Africa shall remain a very dark continent. People are saying, Africa is the permanent residence of poverty. People are saying, Africa is the permanent residence of civil war. Prophecy says, Africa shall be clean. Stretch your hands to the Lord. Prophecy says, Africa shall be clean. Stretch your hands to the Lord. Jehovah God says, Ethiopia shall quickly stretch your hands to the Lord. Jehovah God says, Ethiopia shall quickly stretch your hands to the Lord. Africa, 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 Africa. Africa. I say, to restore your identity. Africa, Africa. Thank you, Zimbabwe, for that energetic dance. In Mereda, the capital of the state of Yucatan and the largest city in southeastern Mexico, you will find the Autonomous University of Yucatan and our Mexican guests. Mexico is influenced by the ancient and great Mayan culture, and Yucatan is home to the Mayan city of Chichen Itza, one of the seven wonders of the world. Let's welcome Mexico. <laughs> Yucatecan bombas are short verses that rhyme, commonly compliments. They are said when the harana dance ends. When the bomba is recited, it closes with the same shot of bomba. Now we're going to do a demonstration of the harana, which is the typical dance of Yucatan. And you will hear an example of a bomba. Thank you.
traditional mestiza costume. Hubong, a square lepo embroidered with the lace on the neck that goes over the shoulders. Ipil, garment attached to the hubong that has an embroidery on the bottom that makes it reach the knees. Bustam, piece that simulates a half bottom with holes and embroidery that goes over below the ipil. Filigree rosary. They are made of gold and were introduced by the Spanish people to keep the injured people away from the evil. Rebozo. It is used due to the need that women have to cover their hairs when they return to the temple, although it is currently used to cover themselves from the cold. Flowers. The position indicates the marital status of the woman. Single if they are on the right side, on the left if they are engaged, married, or with a partner. Shoes, close shoes with straight heels that are and white strap stuff. The Catrina was originally created by the Mexican cartoonist Jose Guadalupe Posada in 1910. It started as a mockery of the indigenous vendors who, being poor, pretended to be rich and belittle their origins and customs. Their characteristic makeup embodies the belief that everyone becomes a school after dying. It doesn't matter if they're tall, blonde, men or women. Nowadays, they're representative characters during the day of death in Mexico. Have you ever heard about the legend of La Nahuala? This legend takes place in an old mansion in the city of Puebla de Los Angeles, in Mexico. It was 1807. It all begins when a shape-shifting witch took possession of the mansion. Everyone who lived there was killed that day, and they named her La Nahuala. Four years later, no one had been brave enough to visit the mansion. Everyone was aware about the witch that haunted it, especially a kid named Leo San Juan. His grandma had always warned him about the Nahuales mansion. One day, Leo's older brother tried to scare him by going inside the mansion. It all started as a funny prank, but suddenly Leo heard the most frightening scream coming from his brother. Scared, but willing to save him, he went inside, but he froze in fear when he saw how the witch was draining his brother's soul. Leo used an ancient artifact and a holy crucifix to fight against the creature. At the end, La Nahuala was vanished. Leo's brother was saved, and the souls of the people who died in the mansion were freed. Nowadays, the Nahuales mansion is a museum that everyone can visit. Yet, you have to be careful because you never know when she may come back. Thank you for that exciting performance, Mexico. And thank you to all our participants for sharing your beautiful cultures and countries with us. Now, let us share with you, America the Beautiful. I 
was in school, we used to sing it something like this. Listen here. Oh, beautiful far spacious skies Far amber waves of rain Far purple mountain Majesties Oh, the fruited plain Well, now, wait a minute I'm talking about America Sweet America You know, God not shed his grace on thee He did Yes, he did. Heavy brotherhood from sea to shine and see. You know, I wish I had somebody to help me sing this. Thank you all for attending the second half of the sixth edition of the Pompano Beach High School International Showcase. Will all the talented participants please stand for their last bow as we ask the audience to show their appreciation. like to thank our administration and staff for working hard to make this event possible and also like to thank all our students for being such a receptive audience. We'd like to give a special thank you to Doc Malolo, Malolo and, and Miss Rayford, Rayford for putting their heart and soul, soul into, into this, this presentation. Thank you all. Have a wonderful day. <laughs>